Taylor Swift has her fans hunting for clues once again and they think she found a genius loophole to secretly get back at Scooter Braun. What's up you guys, it's Susan Wright here with Clever News and fans think that Taylor Swift, or rather her brother, secretly recorded a cover of Look What You Made Me Do and dropped it to get back at Scooter Braun. Alright, let's get into it. Over the weekend, a new episode of Killing Eve aired that used a new cover of Taylor's song Look What You Made Me Do of her Reputation album. Taylor posted the cover on both Instagram and Twitter, writing, quote, Very stoked about this cover of Look What You Made Me Do on Killing Eve by Jack Leopards and the Dolphin Club. Tay was clearly really excited about the cover and fans were too. Here's a little snippet of it. And while this just seems like Taylor shared a plug for a cover of her song, there's a lot more to it than that. Let's start with who the song is by. The cover in question is by Jack Leopards and the Dolphin Club. And after doing a quick Google search, we found some clues pointing towards the fact that that's not a real band. Well, I guess it technically is now, but they don't have any other songs on their Spotify page besides this one that Taylor posted. So of course the Swifties whipped out their detective skills and quickly realized that Taylor likely had something to do with this cover. For starters, many fans started pointing out that her brother, Austin Swift, used to be called The Dolphin Club on Twitter. Obviously, his handle has since been changed to Austin Swift 7, but some people think that Austin is actually the vocalist on Jack Leopard's and The Dolphin Club's cover. And to further that speculation, Austin was seen in the studio with Taylor and producer Jack Antonoff back in December 2019. So there's a possibility that the cover was being recorded back then, since Jack Antonoff is also credited as a producer on the cover. Speaking of producers on that cover, if all of this wasn't enough to convince you, the song was also produced by the one and only Nils Stoberg, or however you like to pronounce it best, aka Taylor's infamous alter ego. In case you forgot, Taylor previously wrote the lyrics for her ex Calvin Harris's song This Is What You Came For under the same pseudonym. The pseudonym was also written on a gravestone in the Look What You Made Me Do music video. And obviously fans have been pointing out all of these clues on Twitter writing things like, so this band doesn't exist past the Look What You Made Me Do cover and one of the producers is Nils Stoberg. Another Swifty chimed in writing quote, Nils Stoberg, Taylor's songwriting pseudonym, is listed on the Look What You Made Me Do covers credit. She's using the pseudonym again to get around her music being hijacked from her. Taylor Swift will not be silenced and I love it. Alright, so let's get into why Taylor would do this because that fan started to get into it and I know you're wondering at this point. So basically, Basically, fans think that this Killing Eve cover was a way to get around Scooter owning the rights to her masters. Since Scooter purchased Taylor's old label Big Machine Records, Taylor technically can't re-release her old music until November of this year. But she had her brother record it, created a fake band to release it, used her pseudonym again to produce it, and bam, there you have it. Look what you made her do. Fans are losing their minds over this whole concept online praising Taylor for her sneaky workaround. This person wrote, Taylor releasing a cover of her own song under a fake band name with her brother singing on it so that no coin goes into the pockets of Scott and Scooter. Support Jack Leopards in the Dolphin Club. Another fan decoded the cover credits writing, quote, Jack Leopards, Jack Antonoff, the Dolphins Club, Taylor and Austin. And another person went back to the Look What You Made Me Do music video and found yet another Easter egg pointing out that quote, is that a dolphin on Nils' tombstone or am I just blind? And we went back and looked at the music video and that fan was right. And most of the other tweets looked like this one that said, we love a smart and strategic businesswoman. But I wanna know what you guys think. Do you think Taylor is behind the cover or do you think fans are just reaching? Let me know everything, including any Easter eggs you may have found in the comment section below. And for more details on the backstory of what went down between Taylor and Scooter, click right over here for another clever video. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.